sure that the shot's centered. Otherwise, what's the point? Even got the drone hanging. Here's my coffee. Git and GitHub is a great place to start. That was my last video. I'll link to it. Uh, I don't really know how to link to videos yet. I just see a lot of other YouTubers doing it. In the previous videos I talked about emulating people that you want to be like so that you can copy what they're doing because you know it's good. They've unlocked different levels of success and eventually you find your own voice. I'm gonna continue showing things that you can copy, things that you can learn, so that eventually you can find your own voice. But at the fundamental level, you'll think about these. It'll kind of change the way in which you approach problem solving. Project management or product management. You have this idea, or the idea has been brought to you, you want to be able to track and define what you're doing. Understanding the scope in which you're going to create these things. So I'm going to demo off today uh, what it looks like to define scope, a bunch of bullet points to check off as you go. Because this is all inside of your head, you need some way to give you a North Star. It doesn't mean you're going to nail down exactly what you need to create in order to create it. That's why we have a lot of other people at the table, the stakeholders, the potential customer, the managers, the other leads, designers, developers, all of these people are at the table so that you can further define the scope more meaningfully. I'll get into ways in which to successfully craft that. I wonder if drone footage would be good if I just flew my drone over the iPad and I don't know. A day as a software developer. What does my day look like at this point in my career? If you were to look at my day as a pie, a quarter of it is spent with Git and GitHub. If we were to zoom in on this piece of the pie, I need to spend a significant part of my time uh, local management, which means I'm writing code and I need to be able to package it together and say why. Why did I write this code? Half of my time is spent crafting the last 10%, taking what I spent the majority of my time on and crafting the best version of it, dotting the I's, crossing the T's, spending the time to package it together in meaningful commits. But commits are the verb for your work, a piece of work or code. Merging, this is another uh, Git term which combining others work. That allows us to kind of work together, to bring our code together, cohesive, meaningful product. This bit right here, reviewing. It's my understanding of what they set out to do, uh, did they deliver on it, and what they did deliver on, does that match the quality that I think is reasonable given the amount of time? What to do? How much time? Quality. Let's start with what to do. These are quantified through user stories. Paths. As a user, given when and thens. Text for what should a person be able to do in your app or your product? Should they be able to upload a profile picture, modify a timeline, have an edit button? Uh, regardless of what it is, we need to quantify it. So this is the what we're going to do. Next is how much time. Quantifying factor. One way that software teams look at this is sprints or agile means defining an arbitrary point, so a week, so it might be a week or multiple weeks, amount of time in order to get a certain amount of work done. It's all based on what the user stories are or what the quantifiable chunks are, but how many of those need to happen? How much time maybe? Who's going to do it? The last one is quality. How do we ensure that what we set out to do was done. What is well typically you'll have more senior or lead people involved and they're looking at the hows and what's matching expectations. 
This is a huge learning experience for everyone else because everyone's idea of quality is different. Let's use the example of uploading a picture and you need to put this image inside of a timeline of a bunch of images. There's a lot of things that can make that happen. There's a lot of hows or whats in different balances. It's up to the person who's reviewing this to ensure the quality. Did it happen fast enough? Does the design match the original expectations? So here's the deal. The biggest part of this is helping you become aware of a bunch of terms to maybe help you on this journey of understanding how to code. It doesn't mean that when you watch these videos, you just magically learn these things. You'll hear these terms over and over again. I'll move a little bit deeper into each one of these things as I progress. We'll get into showing you my actual computer and I'll be typing these things. In order to successfully navigate that, you need to feel confident. Think of it like being on vacation at a place you haven't been before. It's not really comfortable navigating that area. It's because you're not aware. Once you become aware, it feels like second nature. In my opinion, that's the number one thing that can help you learn to code, is that confidence.